think I write because it's it's such a, a privilege to have a voice. I think so few people in the world have a voice. And I write because people are fascinating and and because my head is... My dad said um, that he had three children and all their heads were full of nonsense, but one of them got paid for it. And I think that's it. I think my head is full of nonsense, but I'm very fortunate in that I do get paid for it. So why wouldn't I write? You know, it's, it's fun. It was very, very simple for me and very unusual, I think, in that I hadn't been to university. I left school when I was 17, just, you know, 17 by two weeks, I think. And at the age of 39, my husband and I came back from South Africa and we were broke. We were living in a council house that had previously been squatted in and it was in a hell of a state. We had no money to do it up. We had no money for anything. And my dad wrote to me and said, w you're good at writing letters. Here's a competition in, I think it was the Telegraph, but I'm not sure, um, write a play and win 2,000 quid. And it was a competition that was sponsored by Sally Burton, Richard Burton's widow, and the Radio Times. So I started writing, um, not knowing whether I could write or not, not having had any interest in it before. And it was like, I, I don't know how to, you know that advert where they go pew, and the gas comes up out of the thumb and taking control? It was like that moment, it was something igniting in me. It was like the woof of, of a gas boiler. It was just amazing. The excitement was incredible as I started writing. I feel sort of a cheat because I, I can't really help people with dual characters because they spring into my head fully formed. I mean, they really do. You know, I just, uh, I'm writing a series at the moment for the BBC One and, and it's called Frankie. And, and that character sprang into my head fully formed. And then when I thought, oh, who's she going to be working with? Bing pong, bing pong. There, there they all are, you know? And I don't know. I don't know what, I don't know what the process is. It's going on, but I, I'm not conscious of it. I've got a little cottage in Wales. As you walk in the front door, there's a room on your right, and then there's the hallway. So that room on the right is my writing room. So as you go in the front door, there I am sitting at my word processor with my back to you, exuding, leave me alone, leave me alone. <laughs> there isn't really a typical day, but, it, but if, it was, if it was a day when I know I haven't got a conference call or you know, a trip to London or whatever, then I, I take the dogs to the beach about half past seven or eight o'clock. I've got two little dogs, walk them on the beach, uh, come back and I'm sitting at my word processor by half past eight and my laptop. And I'm there till probably mm, eight o'clock at night with a couple of breaks. You know, I'll have a break for coffee. If somebody comes to the door, then that's lovely because I can have half an hour chat with them. Um, I'll have a break for lunch. I've got a deli next door to me with a lovely woman in it, Mandy, and um, I usually nip next door and have a bacon sarni or something at some point. Then I come back in and I watch whatever it is I'm watching on telly. The Apprentice is my favourite. Um, I'm very non-dramatic. I try not to watch too much drama. Um, and then, or Spring Watch or whatever it is I'm going to watch. And then I'm back on the laptop again and I'll probably be on the laptop till midnight, one o'clock, something like that. But if I'm on a roll, then I'll just work through the night and then I'll catch up with myself with sleep the next day. I love writing. It's just so exciting. I think the writer's room is fantastic. I don't think there's anything else quite like it. I know there are, there are various um, um, schemes going on. You know, ITV has a scheme and, you know, of course, there's great things like the Album Foundation. But I think that the BBC Writer's Room is particularly useful because it's, it's the sharp edge it's people who are in the BBC, helping people who want to get into the BBC, who want to work for the BBC, who want to get things on the BBC screens, who want to get into the BBC programmes. It's real, you know, it's real and it's exciting. Mm -hmm.